So that's it. That's really all it is. Um, you can tweak this material and, and mess around with it to get the exact way you wanted. Um, let me show you an example. So if you want to change the base color a little bit, if you want to make it a little more blue, you add in like, these nice blue values and get more of and you can start working with more of a dark gray color. I'll just show you how easy this is. So with the gradient, let's add in darker blue on the bottom, baked lighting. We want the top to stay lighter and the bottom to go a little darker. So we can add a bit of a teal light color in here and saturate it a bit because I want to hit the gray values. From here, what looks good? Let's see. Something like that. I, I'm going for more of like a teal gray kind of color. Uh, let's turn off the dampening. That looks pretty good to me, honestly, like this. So we'll leave the dampening off. The grunge map. Let's see what colors, let's see if we can mess around with the color a little bit and get it the way we want. But honestly, this looks pretty good to me. Maybe something around here. Yeah, I like this gray. Let's add some blue and then tweak, pull it into the blue a little bit. There we go, nice and black. And for the ambient occlusion, this doesn't look terrible in my opinion. But I like that nice purple color there. And you can either re-add the dampening or take it down. It doesn't matter. The The point is this, this material is super customizable and you can tweak it to get it wherever you want. Again, with the grunge, I, I, it, this color is looking a little uniform. So if you want to add some more colors, maybe go to the reds a little bit and pop in some reds and orange if I can get it the way I want it to go. You know, you can give it a deep, a nice deep red color like this and then maybe pull it down to a color that's a little more acceptable. My mouse is messed up. Just like that. And then there you go. You've got a nice, beautiful, like, stone statue, almost like a green marble kind of color. And if you want to add more color variation, you can go into the gradient and throw in something a little more yellow at the bottom. You can mess with the baked lighting because I don't have much color difference here. So with the horizon, let's change it to a bit of an orange. So now we've got some orange tones. And again, the sky I left white, but if you want to add more color, just there we go. And just like that, we have basically the same material, but there's much more color variation now. So this is kind of the idea that I was trying to get across to you that, great, we have a nice little smart material all wrapped up and you just drag and drop it and it's easy to put in, but there's so much more to it and you can't just take a smart material and drag and drop and it's just gonna work perfectly. It, it takes knowledge to actually take that material and tweak it to the way you want it to go. So this is why I'm interested in creating these courses instead of just selling my smart materials. I really want to show you guys not only how to make the smart materials, but how to tweak them to get them to where exactly you want it to be. So that's it for this course, guys. This was um, actually super fun to make, and I ended up with a very cool material like this. I'm very happy with this, to be honest. So um, I've got a lot more of these coming in the future. And um, thank you so much for joining, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Again, this is Thomas from Stylized Station, and I'll see you in the next video.